Hey guys, I've been creating some of my own sample sets and I'm encountering a little bit of a problem in terms of saving them and trying to get them to other machines or just um, get them to show up when I open up, open up a new session. And um, if I go and I get a new EXS instrument, they're not always showing up inside this browser. And I think I'm figuring out some things in terms of having some success and getting them to show up. All right, so let me try to save um, one. I've I've done two sets of samples of a mini Moog. If it has the letter PC before it, it means it's pitch corrected. Uh, so some of my left au natural with pitch variances like a mini Moog would give you. And then I ran them all through Melodyne pitch correction. And here I have the pitch corrected version. So I'm going to hit the letter X, sorry, uh, Control X. And OK. It slices it all up. Let's see if we can do it here. Uh, is this my new one? Well, this, okay, this is on instrument 12. I can remember that. Um, you should be able to hit this edit button. If you don't have edit, you'll have to go to Logic Pro Preferences, Advanced Tools, and either check all these boxes or enable all. That's going to make a lot of new things and cool features available all over in the software, but one of them being this edit button here. So let's open edit. So this is my see pitch corrector reverse saw wave. Let's drag in those. Contiguous, yes. Zone width one. The first note on a mini Moog is an F, so let's start with an F. I did um chromatic sampling. So um select all. I don't need it to identify a pitch. Um what that would do is if I'm trying to think of an example. Well, let me go do this. I'll get rid of pitch. I'll get rid of the one shot. And we don't want that. <clears throat> if if I select pitch, what's going to happen is it's going to kind of adjust for these diff different notes. So instead of playing F, 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 that's what it would do if I didn't um, check this. So this is kind of like pitch correction, snap it to the note on the keyboard. Um, so that's why you would want that. But I don't need that because each of these notes, um, this is playing a sample of that exact note from the mini Moog. This is playing an F sharp sample. This is the, the G, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Uh, but maybe you already know that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's save it. I mean, if you can either go edit, save, sorry, instrument save probably. You can do that. Or if you go to close it, it's also going to pull up a, a dialog. We can do save. And this at this point, we can name it. Let's name it. Mini Moog, my initials, PC for pitch corrected, reverse saw, save. Yes, we'll replace a current, uh, a, a previous version. So you can see it's here now. All right, what I would recommend doing is going edit, instrument, export sampler instrument and sample files. In order for this to, um, if you want to open this up in another on another machine or share it with, have a friend be able to open it up on their machine, it needs both an EXS file and the original audio file or files that it came from. So export sampler instrument, choose a destination uh, for I'm going to go Command D. Let's just, for now, just save it all to the desktop. And yeah, maybe on a new folder because there's, there's a lot of clutter on my desktop. We'll call it Example because it's an example of how to share it. And save. It's going to save two things in here. It's going to save that EXS file. Let's go to the desktop. And it'll save uh, something in a folder called Sampler Instruments. 
So in order to import this to your new machine, well, let's do it this way. Let me show you what I've been encountering. So let's go do a new session. I'm going to close it, save. Uh, here's my new session. Get a couple of instruments. And if we go looking in the sampler, no luck. It is not here, even though we saved it and stuff like that. So <clears throat> what we have to do is put that all that stuff in the right place. The audio file itself can be anywhere. You're, the software is going to go and find it. Um, but you probably want to put it somewhere in, I don't know, a central folder where you know all your sample material is. So here is my stuff. Let's um, open up a new sample window. And this is OS version 10.10.5 Yosemite and Logic version 10.2 just for what it's worth, yeah, 10.2.1. And in this OS, what where I found it was in music, of all places, and then uh, audio music apps, then, <laughs> so this is where stuff needs to be. You can see their folders named sampler instruments, and the default they created here is sampler instruments, so let's open these up. Let's take that Minimoog sample and put it inside this folder I made for all my Minimoog samples. The audio file that it needs, you can put anywhere. So I'm going to put it in, I've been collecting all my own samples, PB samples, and just take that audio file, put it anywhere that um, you can make sense. Oh, uh, shoot, I don't want to put it there. I won't tell you why. It's a long story. But let just let me throw it in this folder. Boom. Um, there it is. If you want to make a copy, option drag would make a copy. At this point, it still won't show up. But if you hit this refresh menu, if you do any reorganization, if you build subfolders for things, anytime you hit refresh, then it shows up and it's all corrected. So in this fashion, you can share your samples. If, um, boy, where'd my samples go? Command N in the finder. Ooh, where did I put everything? The desktop. Oh. <laughs> Let's pretend that EXS is still in here. So if I wanted to share this with a friend, the way I would do it is to go back, right click on this, compress, so it has all the different file types inside it, and then I could share that, email that to a friend, or put it on Dropbox and send them a link to download it, whatever, and they would open it up and go through the process that I just went through, and they can have that sample for their machine. Well, I hope this is helpful. I was I just spent a long time trying to figure this out and maybe you guys did not need this, but I just found sometimes I was saving samples and I'd open up another session and it was not in here and maybe you're encountering some of the same things. It might be because I have a number of drives I'm working on and um maybe if you're like me and you have a, a project drive and you tend to work your sessions off of that, maybe you're having the same problem I am. All right, hope this is helpful, and I'll talk to you guys later.